This is a position to train uh, the proper way to move through a deadlift. So um, big thing I run into, especially if I'm using kettlebells, is as people round their shoulders forward, that already sets them up to excessively, excessively flex their lower back. So I'll start off by taking some type of post and I'll put it between the crease of their elbows. So just having that here, it already sets me up to have my shoulder blades a little bit retracted. Um, sometimes it does encourage a little bit too much of this excessive low back arch, but for those people that are really flexing too much, I'm okay with them starting with a little bit of that position, right? So here, and even to minimize that excessive arch of my low back, I may have them very lightly kind of pulling their arms forward, almost to engage their stomach and pull their pelvis underneath them. So this may be the first part of this drill where if this post wasn't here, my hands would be coming this way. So as I pull this bar against my back, I also try and pull my stomach, right? And once they have this awareness, I see, well, can they maintain that? A little bit of bend in the knees and try and go through that hip hinge. And watching in the mirror, I try and see if they can really lock that low back and mid back into place to see if they're able to find tension in the hamstrings instead of anything in the lower back. Then that same drive through the heels like I'm pushing the ground away from me as I pull my hips back under. Sometimes I'll do this with the goal of them trying to get their hips to touch the wall behind them. If I step in front of a chair or this box, I want them to think about once they create this pull of the bar against their back and that tension in the stomach, can they keep that and start to feel like they're taking their butt back over that chair? Same idea, try to make sure their head and their butt kind of move in opposing directions to where I feel that hamstring tension that tells me I'm doing it right and then my hips slowly come up underneath me. So it's just another drill to try and cue the deadlift without the excessive flexion that maybe wants to start the movement, the rounding of the shoulder blades.